This is Didier from Matcha Box. Uh, Happy New Year, first of all. And uh, I'm calling here from the office in uh, Boston, where it's uh, getting uh, cold again and uh, it's snowing today. So uh, we'll get, uh, try to keep it warm. Um, so a few announcements, actually quite a lot of announcements since last time um, we had that uh, webinar. The uh, first one, foremost, the, uh, we, uh, at the beginning of the year, uh, we're uh, very happy to receive a uh, significant investment in tokens from uh, NEO. NEO is the, uh, the leader in blockchain in uh, China and a very, very impressive uh, company that we are talking with since, uh, since a while. And NEO decided that uh, our technology and the uh, token itself were interesting enough that we, uh, they made that uh, investment. And that investment comes from the Neo Council, that means from Da Hongfei himself. And I'm <clears throat> sure you all know Da Hongfei, which is a, an icon uh, in the uh, blockchain world. And uh, so we're very, very proud of that. The, uh, come with that, a, also our decision to open the uh, smart contract of the token itself uh, on Neo. So we moved the Ethereum format uh, from an Ethereum format to the uh, Neo format. Uh, Neo format as uh, the Neo code is a fantastic code that we find it very, very uh, strong and uh, probably uh, more secure. Uh, so we're very uh, pleased to do that as well. We be the, we being the uh, fifth uh, ICO moving towards this format and uh, probably the <clears throat> the beginning of a long list of uh, of uh, other ICO moving there. The, um, the other part of for uh, our relationship with NEO is that, as you may know, I, mean, I don't remember if I already shared that with you, we're opening a uh, subsidiary in China. Uh, it's in the process. I think officially it will be open in March. And uh, so to distribute the Pixio chain and the Pixio service on it. And uh, we will bridge um, with NEO on-chain uh, so we can uh, provide our service on the uh, in China through the uh, directly, but also through the on chain, which is the uh, the picture, the, the, not the picture chain, the, the blockchain of uh, of Neo. Um, and likewise, we also will uh, help Neo to uh, promote themselves here in Europe. I say here in Europe, in Europe, uh, since they already uh, make a good job here in uh, in the US, where I'm standing for the moment. Uh, so globally, that's going to be a fantastic partnership, and we're very proud of that, very proud of the acknowledgement of four technology and the utility of four token, and, uh, and I hope that's going to be uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the first one of a long list. Uh, it's important for us because, as you know, we're selling uh, the, uh, the token also to institutional investors. We are people who are going to use our token directly, and uh, so that will show the way to others. Um, the, uh, we also uh, finalized the uh, first leg of the bounty program and uh, now uh, Luke and his team are working on the, uh, are opening the new bounty program. So for the ones interested in that, please uh, follow up on, uh, on Telegram or uh, all the different social networks where we advertise. Uh, <clears throat> other uh, major um, announcement as well is our partnership with uh, uh, Pricewaterhouse Coopers, which is uh, the ones who are going to uh, be your financial advisor for Europe and Russia uh, on the ICO. So, uh, and, and then more, of course, after that. So that's a major brand, again, recognition of, uh, of uh, the Matchbox Pixio adventure. And... Uh, <clears throat> We're very proud of that. So the, the Pricewaterhouse office that's going to lead the charge is uh, based in Zurich. And uh, the two partners we're working us, with us are absolutely a fantastic resource. So we're very proud of that. Um, I just come back with uh, part of the team here in the U.S. from the CES, the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas. And it's been a, an extremely busy CES for us. We had a booth there. Um, in the Eureka Park, and uh, we had uh, spontaneous visitors, but also uh, prepared meetings altogether around 140. Uh, that's why my voice might not be <clears throat> exactly the best 
in the best shape right now. But the uh, 140 meetings were extremely intense uh, in these four days, uh, very successful. We were one of the only uh, um, company presenting blockchain, so that of course attract a lot of uh, interest. Uh, <clears throat> but these, I mean, real interest, not just for education. It was real uh, people, and especially how do we position the concept of blockchain with customer data and privacy? So we, we were able to introduce the uh, permission-based blockchain concept that we uh, we launched. And, uh, and it was very convincing. I must say we had, uh, we come back with uh, out of these 140, uh, a very, very decent amount of leads of, uh, for partnership. I'm going to uh, Paris uh, and Europe um, tomorrow night. So the, uh, for quite a few weeks, and that's already busy with follow-up appointments with major, uh, <clears throat> major bank and insurance, which are or major market for the moment. So we should be able to uh, uh, close a few more deals uh, than the one we have with uh, BNP and BPC now. Uh, but also, uh, and more interestingly, we start to um, um, have more contacts and, and uh, intense contact with the, uh, of course, our Chinese uh, future partners and, uh, and, and, and prospect but also in uh, in Germany and the US all around the smart car concept, not concept, smart car uh, industry. Uh, and they begin to understand the interest of a platform as we provide, because in the smart cars, the smart part is a lot of data and a lot of personal data. And so uh, European market being the uh, the most regulated one, but also a very important market for the car industry from all over the world, uh, this is becoming a, a an obligation. So there, we we are the only platform that can handle that for the moment, and does that say uh, that's for us confirmation of our strategy that to move from you know, slowly from uh, fintech and and uh, insure tech to also the smart uh, the smart car, and that's one of the reasons we're going to China, if you remember. So that was a very very interesting confirmation, and also now we had quite a few contract um, contact with the media industry from and I, when I put I say media it's from the entertainment industry but also the telco carriers industry uh, where they, again they, they're collecting a lot of data and uh, and starting to uh, try to understand how they can unlock really the most value of them in a very compliant and secure environment so uh, <clears throat> that was uh, a great, not intense, but very good confirmation of our strategy or positioning. And uh, it was obvious that we we're pretty unique uh, offer in that in that uh, area. So very, very, uh, very interesting. That also opened the door to uh, more investors for the tokens. So a lot of funds from uh, going from Japan to uh, Germany to US to Korea to, I mean, from all over the stopped and uh, discussed at length the, uh, not just our technology, but also the, uh, the ICO and how they could, uh, they could get in. So more to, uh, more to come about, uh, about that. Uh, last but not least, um, uh, as I said, I'm going to leave Boston, um, and I'm not really considered the weather. I'm going to leave Boston in uh, in two days, uh, traveling to Europe, uh, and then uh, first, then I'm going the week after in the Middle East. So where we opening or uh, I think I already mentioned that we opening the uh, uh, the subsidiary also in Bahrain. And that's uh, Bahrain and Abu Dhabi just uh, signed a joint uh, agreement for uh, pulling together the resource to create a, a real fintech hub between the Emirates and, uh, and Bahrain. So we are going to uh, Bahrain, Abu Dhabi and also Dubai where we have a uh, 104 distributor there uh, and uh, for a presentation to a very large bank in Dubai. Uh, extremely large one. Uh, so we'll, uh, <clears throat> that's going to be the, uh, the launch of our uh, subsidiary there. And it's uh, very important for us to start 
to uh, be present in all of these fintech hub and uh, sandbox uh, around the world. They're very important to uh, to uh, uh, to solidify the positioning of uh, of the Pixio as the uh, partner for banks and insurance, and uh, to leverage the uh, all the uh, good success we already had in France and we keep having in France. Uh, with, uh, by example, BNP Paribas. Uh, talking about them, I'm going uh, uh, this week, uh, talking about the uh, how we deploy the solution in one or two countries uh, right away. And then the intention is after six months <coughs> of test in, test in one country to deploy the solution in all the uh, footprint of uh, BNP. It's going to be a tremendous uh, uh, presence now in, uh, I think it's 40 countries. Um, Next trip, um, so I will be also in Switzerland, where uh, Luke and his team are preparing a, uh, a meetup and, uh, and other uh, meetings with uh, the crypto uh, community in Zug and, uh, and Zurich. Uh, <clears throat> and of course, among them will be one uh, meetup with the uh, NEO community, uh, probably beginning of uh, February. Uh, after that, I will... Uh, probably come back here in the U.S. for two weeks uh, to preparing the, uh, the uh, pilot with uh, Digital Credit Union and another organization in credit unions regarding uh, uh, mainstreaming of their credit application based on, their, on the Pixio technology. And then I will uh, fly back to Europe in Barcelona for the uh, Mobile World uh, uh, Congress, uh, which is where we're going to have a booth again and where everybody can come and, and join us and talk more about the uh, Pixio community. In the meantime, uh, you can see that the sales team <coughs> is uh, is pretty busy. We actually hiring uh, three people uh, in addition to our existing team. So we're going to have Gonzac coming and managing all the uh, European market. We have Thomas in, uh, I think I already mentioned Thomas now, in uh, Russia and Eastern Europe. And we're going to have Guilhem taking over the Middle East. Uh, and uh, we're still looking for uh, a, a, a good salesperson for China. Uh, <clears throat> and then we we'll keep rolling. Uh, the development team is uh, working on the uh, a new, uh, pretty exciting version for the, uh, the mobile. Um, gateway for the, the Pixio Me, as we call it, uh, for the uh, for the Pixio chain. Uh, we're revamping the whole uh, the whole uh, app that we have currently, which is not too much distributed, uh, but we're revamping it <clears throat> completely, and we should have the uh, the result up by the end of June on both uh, platforms, so uh, iOS and uh, Android. Um, and uh, of course, the marketing team is keeping uh, the ball rolling on the uh, on the ICO in general. We uh, we are working with another team for the branding uh, for branding because we now have the uh, mutation between Matchbox and Pixio to happen, and uh, <clears throat> so a lot's going on for us on our part. Thank you.